Hey guys, hope you're doing well. We're on track number two of the day and we're gonna be checking out the brand new Amira track entitled Pig's Ear. I absolutely loved Amira's last album. Super heavy, groovy, low tuning, you know, aggressive vocals. It was just a perfect, nice package of just heaviness. Uh, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm really hoping that's what this new track is going to kind of sound like. Um, it's only two minutes long, so I'm assuming it's going to be more like Smokey from their last album. You know, just kind of short, to the point, really fucking heavy. So um, yeah, I'm excited to hear it. I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into it. One thing we do know, Wolf, is this guy wasn't making a living in music. He had a bunch of low-level jobs, most of which he was fired from. And as far as we can tell by tracking some of these websites and cool intro so far his band really wasn't doing much appearances as of late Wolf. <laughs> yes and the siren in the background fuck yeah oh the groove right away fuck Yes. Oh, it's such a nice riff, man. The vocals. Fucking relentless. Watch out, the cops be outside, man. That alarm's going crazy. <laughs> oh man This is gonna destroy kids' lives <laughs> It's size 2020 Interesting ending, what the fuck? Is that it? <laughs> yep. Wow, okay, Amira Pigs here. That was a quick one. Um fuck yeah. Like that. Um okay, so let's get into a guitar work. You know, exactly what I was expecting from my dude. Fucking low tune, heaviness. Um, simple, but really catchy and groovy riffs. That's all I wanted. And he delivered exactly on that. Um, definitely very similar to kind of Smokey where it's not like there's a bunch of different types of riffs. It's just that one basic riff and they just kind of did everything they could with it. And they absolutely slayed with that. So really awesome work on the guitar work. Um, you know, I love the alarm sound. Some of it was dissonant, you know, notes and dissonant chords. I could tell, but some of it was just like production, literally a siren sound. So really cool work on uh, that drum work. Fuck yeah, dude. The grooves, man. I was fucking dancing on that shit. Loved it. Super almost tribal sounding too. Had a bit of that tribal feel with the tom hits and all that shit. Really cool. Love the grooves. Perfectly intertwined with the guitars. Just um, just one nice cohesive unit. Uh, bass work too, nice, was loud, um, just just nice in your face, bass, good backbone. You know, that, that was pretty much it. Just really accentuated that that heaviness. Um, vocals, my dude fucking, my dude slaying it on vocals, man. Holy shit, the aggression. Again, what I was kind of expecting because it was a short song, you know, coming off their last album, it definitely was reminiscent of that smoky vibe of just brutal non-stop heaviness. Um, a lot of highs. I was expecting a bit more kind of lows and a bit more of the variety of what he can do because he kills at everything he does. Like, he fucking slays that shit. Um, so that's, that's pretty much all I'd really say is I, I was hoping for a bit more of the variety, a bit more of those low layers and all that. Uh, but still, really good, fit nicely. And the whole band is one nice, cohesive unit. They absolutely slay it together. You know, even though the lineup is kind of relatively new, the newer lineup, other than uh, the vocalist, 
um they they sound like they've been playing together for like fucking 10 years you know which is absolutely crazy and that's a really hard thing to pull off so um everyone absolutely slayed their instruments i wouldn't i wouldn't give anyone mvp i'd give them all mvp to be honest um and again even kind of production work on its own was, was really cool with the alarm sound and at the end there very didn't ex- i didn't expect that shit at the end where it was just kind of a chill beat um with like electronic drums and shit um even right at the beginning that kind of voiceover was really cool and definitely a nice intro to this the brutal heaviness of the, that track just just the raw aggressiveness that's what i really would describe amir as just raw aggressiveness just in your face just bleh, non-stop your, your face is getting ripped off and it's it's beautiful um so yeah overall this track really really nice um again I, i'm kind of comparing it to smoky so on that kind of level solid fucking track nice intro rest of the track was nice it was just focused again on that one riff that kind of one groove and they did it they did it proper you know they did it proud um i was hoping maybe for a little bit of a variation not too much of a variation you know but near maybe the middle ish end, like at the 66 you know percent point um i was hoping for some kind of variation even like just like a like a chuggy thing uh but they just kind of kept going the same thing and that's that's completely cool you know it fits um but i was hoping for a little bit more of a a variation near the end even just the slight bit variation with just the groove or or something um just to just to keep it um extra exciting you so so it felt more like it was you know building at a, um, a faster pace because this was a song that even though it was just one riff it was still building you know they they built on it a little more a little more a little more drum wise even guitar riff wise there was slight bit additions to it and things like that when it got further and even vocal wise he, he did get more aggressive which was great so it definitely told the story um i guess i was just hoping for a bit more of like a curve that went like that like this instead of just like that uh, which would have, I think, happened with a bit more of a variation at the end. But hey, it did it well. The, it did the job right. You know, it was just an aggressive banger. Um, and I think live, this song will, like, like I said, kids are, kids are gonna get fucked up. You know, beware of the pit when they play this shit, or when they play all their songs. To be honest. Um, so yeah, really, really great song. And the ending was cool. Um, it, it was different, unexpected. Um, I think the ending, you know, the EDM stuff. I think you could have maybe even cut that time in half. You know, it did the job at the halfway point and then it just kind of kept going. I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's just a little small critique, I guess I'd say. And I loved the intro. I love how they introduced it with the, the guitars kind of fading in a little bit with the lo-fi and the guy talking. That was super sick. Overall, definitely um, I'd give this track solid four out of five next. Solid. You know, it's it's a killer's track. It's right in your face. It's aggressive. It makes you just kind of groove and bang your fucking head. Um, so four out of five, Nick's a solid banger. You know, Amir killing it. Really good first track. Excited to hear what they have left, um, you know, to give with, I guess they're going to be releasing a new album. But um, yeah, super fucking stoked. Absolutely killing it. And yeah, if you guys like this track, I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description. Go show these dudes some love. Go check out the actual track as well. Uh, If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like and comment what you want to see me check out next. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video and um, I will see you next time.